Hi, welcome to Cradle and the Convert. I'm Weston. And I'm Andrew. Today it's all about this guy. You know it. So, today you get to hear about my life, just a little bit more about my testimony and the good things, the bad things, good, bad, and the ugly, basically. So, you're beautiful on the inside. Well, the ugly part is when you came into my life, but. <laughs> so <rude. laughs> I know. But friends like this, who needs enemies? Exactly. So, growing up, I became Catholic at my baptism. You know, what, a month, month and a half, whatever it was. I don't really know. It took you a month and a half to get baptized. I don't know, probably. That is a long baptism. <laughs> well, not the baptism. It's up until the baptism. Oh, okay. They, like, dunked me in water for a month and a half. Like, pulled me out, see how much... Um, they just kept going. Like, <laughs> Power of Christ <laughs> compels you. Come on, baby. <laughs> so, anyways, grew up Catholic. Um, really liked learning about my faith as I was growing up. I went to Catholic grade school. Um, and... Yeah, I mean, I guess, I don't know, Catholic grade school was okay. Uh, kind of, you know, dealt with a lot of bullying and stuff growing up, mm. which was really unfortunate, but there was a, you know, so I struggled a lot with depression throughout my entire life, uh, you know, just working on dealing with that and everything. But I think, you know, one thing that kept me going the entire time, too, is just knowing about God and all these things. Mm -hmm. So, like, God in the background, you know, sometimes, you know, I, let's be honest, didn't feel like he was always there, right? But I knew that he was, regardless of what I thought or felt at the time. So, you know, praise God, I had that grace to be able to continue and, you know, deal with stuff um, throughout college and everything. Or throughout, well, yeah, throughout college, but up to that, too, throughout my entire life. So as I got to college, um, this, you know, the liking to learn, going to CCD and everything mm -hmm. kind of dwindled a little bit. Uh, I mean, I still went to Mass, but that was really about it every week. Um, you know, I was getting too busy or I didn't feel like doing it or, you know, I didn't feel that I was being accepted by the Newman organization or, you know, whatever it was. But, you know, I wasn't a big partier. I didn't really go out and do the drinking scene or drugs or any of that kind of stuff. That wasn't my kind of thing. So, <laughs> regardless of what he says. But anyway, so about my first, about, uh, so it was the second semester of my freshman year, got involved with uh, business concept, network marketing. So that's actually where we met, but that comes in a little bit later. So, but the business, uh, yeah, so network marketing is basically just reaching out to people, mm -hmm. selling products and building a network of other people to yep. build the business along with you. So it was very uh, community oriented and very leadership oriented. So there was a lot of uh, self-help stuff and a mm -hmm. lot of, um, well, just being around other people with the same mindset and stuff. So it was, it was a lot of fun, learned a lot of good things. Um, don't regret doing it one bit, not at all. Uh, you know, a lot of the books that we were reading in the mm. the good self help stuff is what helped me get through a lot of depression and stuff too. So it was it was definitely a godsend in that too. But it was something that was kind of taking me away from God's purpose, I think, and like being um, well, just His plan. Like at least when I got to that point where He's like, okay, this isn't my plan for you anymore. So I did that for about three and a half years, and throughout this time, I wasn't able to be involved with the Newman Center or that much. So I was pretty busy, mm -hmm. right? Run through, uh, you know, school and work and the business. Took a lot of my time every week. So when Father John started coming up to me after Mass and saying, hey, do you want to be part of a book club? Do you want to be part of this or whatever? I'm like, no, Father, I, I can't. I can't do any of this. I'm too busy. Like, you know, I go, I go to Mass every Sunday. Isn't that enough for me right now? Like, if you weren't involved in three <laughs> things, at least, Father John wasn't doing his job. That's true. Yeah. He knows how to get people involved. Yeah. <laughs> and people to help out. It's really good. Um, yeah, so I got a little bit more involved at that time when he started reaching out. Um, was only able to get to, like, a book club or something. But it was, mm -hmm. you know, deep down inside, like, I was starting to yearn for that. And I was like, man, I don't, I don't have, you know, I love learning about the faith, but I haven't been able to learn more about it since I got to college. And so I started, you know, attending this book club and it was kind of the foot in the door kind of thing. So it was really good because that was the initial what got me to everything else, right? Mm -hmm. So about a year later, after I'm starting to do a little bit more around this, I was finally able to get to a retreat, which I mean, any of you guys have been on retreats before, they are life-changing, right? Like it's a great place 
just to get to meet God, right? Like, because you get away from your busy lives, go somewhere quiet, hopefully. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. You know, time for prayer, time for mass, all these different things. Uh, the sacraments. So there's a lot of grace packed into one weekend, like one retreat. So it's a great time. So I came up from this retreat realizing that deep down inside I desired much more than what uh, the business was giving me, right? Like, I mean, financial stuff is, is great and all, right? Yeah. Like, it's not a sin to be wealthy or anything, but that just wasn't something that I was felt called to. So I came away knowing that, okay, I need to figure out what this is the Lord's calling me to do instead. Mm -hmm. So, you know, through a pretty deep and intimate um, encounter with the Lord, I was able to basically realize, like, okay, this is not what he wants me to do right now. He wants me to do something with the church instead. So I stopped doing stuff with business. Um, you know, at this time, like Weston and I had become pretty good friends. Like throughout that time, um, I enjoyed each other really well. And yeah, it was, it was a fun time. We had a lot of fun with the, the guys. You know, we had a, a very good time. Yeah, it was good. Good, good stuff. But I walked away from it. He said, but. <laughs> I said that a lot, actually. <laughs> I need to call you out at least one time on it. Of course you do. Well, you wouldn't be a good friend if you didn't. Valid point. So got involved more with the Newman Center at that point. Um, yeah. Was able to, well, you know, step away. So I did everything at the Newman Center with the church group as opposed to at, uh, you know, in the business. So it was, it was very fulfilling. It was very good. Um, we had uh, missionaries, actually, from Focus started on campus that same time. And so I started doing, you know, I was finishing out my degree and figuring out what to do later mm -hmm. afterwards. So I attended a, uh, an interview weekend that they had for Focus, mm -hmm. um, which Focus is Fellowship of Catholic University Students. Basically just has missionaries on college campuses to, you know, evangelize to the campus and stuff. It's a great organization. If you don't, haven't heard of them or anything, look them up. Guarantee they they do some really awesome stuff. So I the Lord called me to focus for two years. So that's what I've done for with my last two years. We missed so them far. dearly. They did. So I was a missionary at uh, Michigan Tech in the UP. So that was crazy. The Uper. Yeah, real Uper. Eh? All the way up there, eh? Way up there. Way up there. Mm -hmm. But now I came back south, and it's a lot warmer. There's a lot less snow. <laughs> There's not snow right now, but yes. I mean, there was like a lot. It's a little warm here right now. <laughs> I mean, this is the middle of summer, so yes, right. Right now, it's it's good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so before before focus, I had the idea for this channel, or you know, it came to me, mm -hmm. and now to the point where leading into uh, well, we're we're working on this, so we're mm -hmm. starting this off and. We get to tell you more about us. Hopefully you can tell us more about you and different topics and other stuff that you want us to cover. And hopefully we do good things. Hopefully you had a good time learning more about me. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Be happy to answer them for you. Till next week, we get to talk about this guy. So until then, don't forget to like and comment. And subscribe. But most of all, pray. Mm -hmm.